Today, as you can see by the title, um, I'm just going to tell you a, lot, a little story time of what's been going on within the last couple of days um, and weeks. I just want to give a shout out as well to everyone who's actually supporting my new song that's just been released. It got released on the 23rd of May, I think it was May. Yeah, May. Wine it is out now on all digital platforms, so make sure everyone goes and streams that. I went into hospital because I had gastritis and acid reflux and some other stuff um i came out of hospital like two days ago i'm not, i'm right now i'm in the recovering process but my arms are done out here like finished i've literally just got my appetite back um which means i can start eating again properly had a good meal yesterday and this morning actually i had the leftovers and you know i couldn't really eat that much but um yeah, let me just tell you like how it all started, didn't it? On Friday, I think, yeah, Friday, the wow, they treated me like a doctor. I went to What's the Motive, big up party hard UK. Um, I went to What's the Motive in Scala, and me and my my sis, what we do is before we get to the motive, I'm sure everyone does this anyway, but before we get to the motive, we pre-drink. Now, when we pre-drink, we take it too far all the time like we take it too far bearing in mind i didn't actually eat anything that day i don't think i ate i think i had like two two bread two two beans on toast with a bit of egg and that nah, it's very short. but yeah that was in the morning as well so i don't think i actually ate so obviously we pre-drinked we had siroc the watermelon we had like two cherry beads between each other and I think we were just doing shots as well. Like, imagine the bottle was fresh. Like, we just got the bottle to get it. So we was backing it down. Like, we was down it, down it, down it. So it was one of them ones, innit? We got in the cab there and we was finished. Like, if I can insert clips, I will of like how I was, I was done at like, it. was tapped in. But, um, yeah, I was finished and like throughout the party, I hardly remember anything that was going on, but yeah, just drinking, drinking, drinking. I had a bit of boost, but after that, I went home, fell asleep. And then obviously, the next day was a barbecue that I planned for, like, because we're leaving this house, as I've, as I've told you lot in the last video that we're moving houses. Oh, now we ain't fucking moved yet. Do you get it? Like, still here. As you can see, the wardrobe's not behind me anymore, so that's gone. Um, but there's bags there with my clothes in it. So yeah, anyways, so I had a little party now and I've been shot in to get it from the start. I've been shot in from morning. Um, so my body hasn't recovered from yesterday's, but I'm still shot in. So I'm shot in, shot in, shot in. And my mum's friend came around. She was like, yeah, I'm going to get your bottle. Rightio. I said, bring you on. Let's go. She bought me a, um, the, the same thing syrup watermelon it? i think i am never touching that drink again never so i had that now so i'm sipping it all day like i'm drinking it drinking it drinking it my mom's friend also gave me this weird shot so imagine that i'm mixing drinks now you're not supposed to mix the drinks if you're on a drink you stay on that drink in it i'm now mixing so while i'm mixing am i right my eyes are yeah, like I'm off, but I'm enjoying because it's hot and it's hot, like it's fucking me up type of thing. So I ate like two pieces of chicken, rice, and some mac and cheese. That was it. So imagine from yesterday, egg, beans, toast, whatever, and then now is just two pieces of chicken, mac, cheese, and rice. So cool. I'm doing all of that now, and um. We're still shotting. Everyone's still taking drinks. I, I gave people um, shots on the door. So we're drinking that. And I'm also doing balloons. Like, I'm fucking myself up. Do you get it? Didn't care, did I? Because I'm a fucking idiot. And I love drinking. So, I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. Obviously, now we've gone to... We went to OFB's block party. 
in Tottenham. So on the way there, no, before I left, my cousin gave me the black, the blueberry or blackberry, the, the black Ciroc bottle in it to take with me. So I've already drank some of that already as well. So it's just consistent drinking, 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 drink, drink, drinking. Drink, drink. I'm not stopping. Got to the motive now. I backed my bottle in it. Like I finished it. I think there was like that much left. Vodka. I don't chase my drinks as well. Just know that I don't chase it. There's nothing been put in. It's just straight. Do you get it? So yeah, that's all happening. So imagine the whole bottle of watermelon syrup that I had that my mum's friend bought me is finished. Like it's gone. So that's done. Like so I'm just sipping and all sorts. So. As soon as I got to the block party, I'm in the corner, chilling, like I'm waved, I'm gone. Like, I was with my boy as well, and he was drinking Hennessy. So, he backed half of that as well, I think half of it was just gone, like, off. It got to the point where I literally could not see shit, like, I couldn't see anything. I even bought a balloon, I bought balloons, more canisters. Money's just flying out of my pocket to get it. And I was charging people to come into my barbecue. It's gone. Everything's finished. I even thought I got robbed. I always think I get robbed when I'm drunk and I'm buying canisters for some reason. I don't know why. So, obviously, we've gone home now because I'm done at him. Finished. Like, imagine I still haven't drank. I mean, ate, sorry. Still haven't ate. So, I'm just there doing the absolute most, innit? So, Sunday comes now. I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch a bottle. I didn't touch anything. Now I've actually ate, but I didn't finish it. So I was eating and I was like, I don't want no more. That like, if you know me, then you know that I actually do not like. I, I don't not saying not like eating, but I'm not the per I'm not the type to eat that much. People are always force me to eat all the time. Like no, like if I'm really hungry and I have a biscuit, I'm done. I know it's weird. I'm done. Or even if I have like a drink or something, I'm done. I can't be full, in it? So that's it for me. So I had half of it and I was like, yeah, I can't bother. Next day now, um, Leisha comes round. She comes round and we're like, yeah, let's go to Ikea. So we went to the Ikea in Edmonton. And we're just chilling. I think it was like, it was like 8 p.m., around 8 p.m. She was like to me, yeah, oh, I'm drinking already. I went... What's going on? I said, cool, let me start now. So that obviously she's drunk and I'm drunk all at the same time. So yeah, like, we can't one be sober and one be a bit tipsy and falling off type thing. So that's all happening. Obviously I still had some, what did I even have? I don't know what I had, but I was drinking something. As you do. There's even, there's even this here. Do you know what I mean? I don't even, don't even want to touch it. Do you know what I mean type thing? Cause it's just bringing back memories. But um, <laughs> flipping, yeah, so she's come now, and we've obviously she was like, she took out the bottle. I was like, I had to get out of the bag, and she was like, Yeah, I got these shot glasses. This is the same drink now, the watermelon one, same one. Yeah, P did it. What have you done to me? Hmm, shit, man. So, just pulled it out, boom, backed it, boom, backed it. So, obviously, I drank from the bottle at first, you know. That's when she showed me the, the, the shot glass. So I was like, cool, let me just do what I'm doing. So we've left now to go to Ikea. Obviously, I was making it like, we was in there. We was like, we're looking at stuff. Obviously, there wasn't much people in there, actually. There was like, what, I could spot like five people walking around in Ikea. If you know Ikea, you know that place would be mad packed in it. But it wasn't packed. Um, so we've gone in one of the bedrooms <laughs> of Ikea, you know, the little... The, how they make it in there so we've gone in there yeah, in one of the um kitchens quaying so now i can see us backed out the bottle drinking it back in it it's still not gone down back where it's not it's, it's not going down in it like every time we stopped we was literally back in the drink so yeah we're just backing it back in it bearing in mind i don't even think i ate that day so bearing in mind within these three days i've had well four days i've had the egg and that was one day. The two pieces of chicken, rice, mac cheese, one day. And then the actual food that I didn't actually finish in one day. So I haven't had a proper meal in four days to get it, or three days. However, the hell you lot are calculating over there. So yeah, back in it, back in it. Called my girl. I was like, yo, where are you? Because obviously we just finished IKEA. Is that man's at yard? I said, cool. 
come in. She said, I right, hold on. Let me ask. I said, cool, cool, cool. She shot me. She shot my other friend. I said, yo, where are you? She said, I'm at home. I said, we then? Nothing. I got wet to my dad. I'm coming. We went there. We rode you. was drinking, 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 drinking. Like, I even insert a clip here. Like, as soon as I got in, I took the bottle and I was like, look, 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 look. Like an idiot that I am. Just started drinking. This is the biggest dick girl because she was like, what, you're not gonna finish that? But the thing is, I was sipping it because I knew something went right. Did you get it? But I just ignored it. Ignored it. I was thinking, nah, it's not that deep in it because I drink all the time, innit? So it's not one of them ones where I thought, yeah, I'm gonna end up in the hospital. Did you get it? So obviously, she's sipping now. I, sat, I, I was sipping. Then I think it finished. I'm not be too sure if it finished, but pardon me we had um mcdonald's so bearing in mind i haven't ate yet like i haven't been eating so the mcdonald's is the first meal of the day of drinking as well which is not nice because mcdonald's is not even real food like it's not even real food so got the mcdonald's now and i'm eating it but like something don't make it's not making sense to me in my belly like oh now my belly is not right do you get it? so i've ate it now I've left half of it. As you look, I've said already, like, I don't really eat food in it. So I had some of it. I left half of it. I was like, nah. They were like, you're not going to eat that? I said, nah. Nah. So I had some of the Coke and I was like, sipping it. I was thinking, what's going on? Bearing in mind, I was already a bit rattled in it because when the McDonald's came, first of all, I said, no pickles. They gave me extra pickles. Drink was half fucking full. I was just like, nah, done at it. Camberwell, McDonald's South, cancelled. Never going there again, innit? That's what you're not dead. So, I've left now. We've left. I got home at 2.03. I think that's what my snap said. And I was like, alright, cool. Went to sleep, drained, because I was just sleeping on the way from there to here anyway. So, yeah, I was just like, cool. Um, went to sleep now. Woke up 30 minutes later. I was like, Bleh. started vomiting. In the toilet, went to the toilet, come back out, thinking, what's going on? Went, nah, no way. Like, I don't get hangovers as well, so I was a bit baffed. So I went back to sleep, woke up 20 minutes later, didn't stop vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. An hour later now, I'm waking up, same thing. This time, it's not even the food that's coming out anymore, it's just the next bullshit. It was like thick yellow. So it was thick yellow. It wasn't that much either. It was like I was just coughing it up, but it was mad stingy, like stinging me. My chest hurting. Thinking, wow, everything's just so tight. So I was just like, wow, what's happening? So I went to sleep now. Obviously, 5.40 came a.m. Oh, now I haven't actually had a good night's rest, in it? 5.40 came. My mum heard me vomiting in the toilet. She come up now. She was like, what's going on here? I was like, I don't know what's going on. Vomit again. She said, have water, drank the water, went to sleep for a bit, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, I think. Got up again, more water. I probably vomited at least 10, 15 times throughout the night. But um, yeah, mum went to work, so I was by myself, well, with my stepdad. And I was just like, cool, I'm gonna call 111 because I am done at it. They said, obviously they did the self-assessment thing on, on the phone, over the phone. Telling them what's going on, they said, you know, yo, you need to go to the um, hospital immediately. I'm gonna tell them that you're coming. I said, well, shit's about to get serious. So obviously I've gone now. Normally when I'm in the hospital, it's in and out, innit? Like, in and out. Like, no hesitation, I'm in, they see me, I tell them what's going on, they give me medication, and I'm out them doors in 20 minutes. Okay, I lied, not 20 minutes. Like an hour or two. But, yeah, and no, I was in and out, but obviously when I went this time, told him what was happening, he was like, I said, how much did you drink? I said, a lot. He was like, oh, how much is a lot? Like, I went, I don't know. He went, drinking on a Monday? Who does that? I went. So guys, um, I had to film the rest of this frontwards because it's too hot on that side. I've been like, oh, obviously, 
Um, I've been drinking since Friday, so I don't really know how much I've actually had. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just like, rah, like, I had McDonald's as well, so I don't know if it's food poison or what. So, obviously, he's looked at me like I'm crazy for even drinking that much on a Monday to get it. So, obviously, he's giving me the blue card now. He's like, here, take this, wait for the nurse to come. I said, all right, cool. So, obviously, he's giving me that now. I've sat down. I'm thinking, what's happening? Because I'm normally in and out. So, obviously, after, like, I think 30 minutes, bearing in mind I'm by myself now, in it because my stepdad had to leave. He had to go to something important. So, he's left. He's like, let me know any updates. So, I'm by myself. Went into the other nurse now. He's told me some. I've had to tell him. All now, none of these lot can tell me what's going on. They can't tell me what's going on. I've been in here for like, what, two hours, three hours? Ain't no one telling me what's going on. So, obviously, I've spoken to this guy now. He's like, all right, cool. Go back outside, wait for the nurse. I said, bloody hell. What is happening? Am I dying or what? What's happening? Obviously, the next person's come in now. Um, I've gone to the next person, sorry. And he's asked me the same question. He's like, I'm just gonna take a couple of blood tests from you. Now, I don't like blood tests anymore simply because of my experience from the last woman that tried to dab up my arms and shank me up because this woman did something wrong. She must have went, Gah! I went, ah! Ever since then, me and blood tests don't mix in it, so I'm not trying to have no more blood tests. So he's like, right, cool. So he's obviously put that thing around to, you know, tighten it up. He's trying to find veins. He can't find no veins. I'm, I'm at this point. I'm back to thinking, where's my veins at? Veins, where you at? Go oh, here. Yeah. Shout out many good veins as well. <laughs> but yeah, he's put, so he's put the needle in there. He's trying to take blood out. I've already screamed. I'm like, ah. He's like, it's alright. It's alright. I said. He said, I can't find no blood. At this point, I actually think I'm an alien. All my friends are like, yeah, I'm an alien. It's about time you start telling them I'm a vampire. The fuck sort of friends are these? So, um, he's like, all right, cool. I'm going to go again, see what if we can get blood out in it. So, he's done it again. Uh, no blood. He said, you're dehydrated. What have you been doing this weekend? I was thinking, what have I been doing? Do you know what I mean? I don't know anymore. Like, I've just been drinking, I've been fun. It's hot outside. It must be that as well. Fuck it. And I've been using alcohol as as if it's water because i'm hot out of there do you get him so he said all right cool let me do it in this hand here i don't know if you can see it but wait it's a bit swollen here but yeah he put it in there uh, again as you do and then he's like right cool i'm thinking all right cool blood testing and off type thing and tell him what's going on no this motherfucker started putting stickers down he's all holding the needle down what's he holding it down for type thing I, we didn't get me out do you know what i mean like get me out he's all started sticking shit down he's put an orange thing on it that i said review on thursday what do you mean thursday i'm out of here tonight today now thursday thursday no so he's all done that shit now he's like oh just wait out there wait for the nurse i was like all right, cool. I've waited now. By this time, I think Leisha's already arrived. Um, we're waiting for about... I was waiting for her for about 15 minutes. So, I'd say I was waiting for a good 50 minutes max for the next person to tell me what's going on in it. All now, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm spitting blue stuff. What the fuck does that mean? I'm spitting blue why is my spit blue? It's not even yellow, yellow anymore, it's blue. Who the fuck spits blue? Do you get it? So I was just baffed, I'm worried, I'm like, what's going on type of thing. Um, waited for like 50 minutes, the next person called me, I got into the room. Once again, I've had to explain what I was doing, all the, I had to do an assessment type of thing, you know? So, Obviously, once again, she's like, oh, so how much have you actually drank? Did you, you know, take anything else that you're not supposed to take? They're trying to say that I'm some sort of drug user? A drug you Drugs? Me? No. I don't do drugs. No. So I was like, no. I looked at Leisha and I was like, I, I gave her the eye like, oh, should I tell her how long I've been drinking, how much I've been drinking? I said, fuck it. 
I ain't got nothing to hide, you know what I mean? What are you gonna do, arrest me? So, done all of that now. Told her, she was like, again, Monday? So I said, yeah, whole week, type thing. <laughs> so yeah, nah, all of that happened now. Obviously, she was like, oh, I'm just gonna run a few blood tests. I went, how many do you want to do on me? Jesus Christ, I'm aching, please, I'm, please, I'm, how much blood do you wanna take from me now, please? Please. So she's done over here on this hand now. Obviously, she couldn't really find that and it left me with a little mark, but it still hurts. She was like, oh, do you wanna lift up your jumper? I was like, oh, so I'm trying to do it, but obviously I got this thing on me here, this on me there. Obviously it's got two tubes in me still with the needle. She was just like, ah, oh, let me just do it on this arm. I said, bro, in my head I'm thinking, You've done, they've done, do you know what I mean? Like, fucking stabbing me in the same place, like, chill out. So she's all done it now. Ugh! But before she did that, she ripped off the salad tape. She ripped it off. She didn't give a fuck about how I felt. She just went, I went, Ugh! Do you want know this alright? I went, It's never alright. It is never alright. So she's done all of that now. Put more in. She, she's put the thing around. Ugh! And then. Obviously, she could, I don't think she could have found blood that time, but she, she did it anyway. She's done it now. Um, then what else did she do? She, yeah, she told me to wait in that room. She's going to get the test results coming. I said, cool. We was in that room for about 30 minutes. She came in with this big fuck-off fluid bag and another small one. I said, what's your name with him? For me. I had to sit in the corner, didn't I? So while I'm sitting in the corner... She's attached these fluid, big bullshit wires and shit into this, into these things that we already hear from the last man that did it. Done that now. I'm sitting there for time. She's just, that's all that's happening, isn't it? My arm's cold as hell here. Like, it's bumping up. Like, say I've, I'm allergic to something. I'm fidgeting bears. My back's aching. Like, it was off. Like, it was a write-off, innit? I'm uncomfortable, I just wanna go home. I haven't slept since 3 a.m., do you get it? I'm trying to dust out, like. So obviously, I was sitting there for about 40 minutes. Bro, it's, you're touching almost 1.30, 1.20, I don't know, p.m. I haven't slept since 3 a.m. and I'm hungry as shit. I'm thirsty, my lips were cracking up. Everything was happening, innit? So I'm like, all right, cool. She comes in now. She's like, come with me. I was like, all right, cool. So I've gone into the room now. And she's like, Oh, so what you have right now is gas as acid reflux and gastritis. She named other things as well. I have had gastritis in the past, like this is why I don't really eat that much as well. But I've had blood tests for some other stuff that I haven't even got my results from, so there must be some other bullshit going on with me. Don't know, just don't check in it, gotta let God do all the work in it. So yeah, um <clears throat> she was like, Yeah, you could take these tablets. She didn't give me no tablets. She just wrote it down what I should get. So she didn't pres subscribe me, whatever, prescribe, whatever the fucking word is, with anything. She just said, oh, if you want to do, if you want to um, stay in the hospital a bit longer and, you know, finish off the bags of fluid, then you can. I'm going home. I'm not staying here. I'm hungry and I'm uncomfortable. Get me out. Get me the fuck out. So I was like, nah, I'm all right, I'm off. I oh, know you wanna go home. I said, yep, I'm going home. So I didn't have no tablets, nothing. I just went. God is looking after me. Yeah, that's it. As long as you've got prayer, you're good. Yeah, you don't need none of these, these government pills. Yeah, don't get them government pills. I'm telling you this now. So obviously, I've gone home now. I've rested up, you know. Leisha made me some soup. Had some of this water. Um, and you know, I just fell asleep. I had a shower, obviously, I had a bath, and I made my back relax and stuff like soothe and that because I was aching up and more fidgeting on the chair when I was in the hospital. But yeah, nah, like, guys, alcohol isn't it's not good, it's not good. Don't think you're a bad man like I thought I was drinking for four days straight with no food as well. Like, just don't, don't be doing that. And if you're gonna do do up drinks here yeah. chase it from now on i'm chasing my drinks and like i'm not even supposed to be drinking but 
I'm gonna chase my drinks from now on. I'm not just gonna go straight bareback. But yeah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna just just chase my drinks and live a life. But it's coming to summer now, guys. So obviously you lot are getting a bit excited. You wanna have a little two, 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 two alcohol. Make sure you stay hydrated. Don't be like me. Don't be in the hospital with a bunch of fucking blood test needles in you. Make sure you stay hydrated. Get your drinks in, yeah? Make sure you... Yeah? But yeah, that's it for today's story, guys. Obviously, that was just a quick update on what I've been doing. Um, by the way, I'm not really going to be uploading that much this month, I don't think. Because, um... Obviously, I'm in the process of moving. You're probably tired of me saying I'm moving. But I'm moving. It's a new block as well. So, obviously, it's a new build, sorry, as well. So, which means I really don't know when the fuck we're moving in type thing. So, once we do move, I will do a house tour and all sorts of other stuff. But right now, I'm in the process of, you know, moving and doing my music and, you know, getting Wine It up there. Obviously, Wine It's going to be in the link below. Everyone stream that. Keep streaming. Um yeah thank you for watching my video and you know i'm in the process of recovering arms are done out air belly still done out air but you know we move um but yeah give this give this video a like comment you know subscribe do all that good stuff tell your mom tell your dad tell your cats to make an account and all of that good stuff you know me in a bit